Hello accounting superstars! Welcome to the Accounting Superstar channel. This is Professor Don Bush and I've taught accounting for about 30 years, been a CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. You've come to the right place here, folks. So today what we're going to do is we're going to um, learn a little bit about the accrual basis uh, versus the cash basis. Now this lesson is designed for people that are just starting out in accounting, probably their very first uh, class in accounting, maybe the first, second, maybe even third week of class. So here we go. So um, folks, uh, there, there are two basic different ways to do accounting. Uh, it's sort of like two ends of a spectrum. On one side, we've got the accrual basis. On the other side, we've got the cash basis. And there's uh, ways to do accounting that are in the middle of those two extremes. But what we'll do is we'll uh, just get a, a quick understanding of the difference. So here it is. So the accrual basis right here, I've got a picture of some con construction workers. And uh, so that's to remind you that what's important in the accrual basis is uh, the work. How much work was done and how much resources were consumed to, to do that work. So with the accrual basis, when do we claim revenue? When we complete the job, you got to do your work, folks, to claim revenue. Very, very important. A lot of people get in big trouble for this. In fact, there have been a lot of people that go to jail for not remembering this rule. It's uh, very important. So you got to complete your job. You got to do your work. When you get paid, doesn't matter. You got to do your job. Now, expenses, when do we recognize uh, expenses? Well, when we consume the resources. That is when we consume the resources to do that work, to complete that job. There, there's a, a bit of a matching uh, uh, thing going on here in accounting. So uh, accrual basis, in a nutshell, you got to do your job. And, and uh, how much resources did you consume to do that job? Uh, the cash basis. Now, on the cash basis, what matters is cash. I've got a picture of cash right down here. So when do we claim revenue on the cash basis? Well, when we get paid for the job, it doesn't matter when we actually do the job. It doesn't matter when we do the work or when we finish the work, but when do we get paid? Now, the IRS really likes the cash basis because they feel the best time to um, for you to share your money with the IRS is when you have some money. So when you get paid, that's usually according to tax law when you claim revenue. Now, expenses. Expenses here. Uh, when do we recognize expenses? When we pay for the expenses. Not when we consume them, when we pay for them. So there you go. The accrual basis is all about work. Cash basis is all about cash. Now coming down here, here's a quick little example. And what I've got here, I've, I've got a project here. When we get to a construction is doing a project and we're going to look at the accrual basis. Uh, and here's a picture of some construction workers to remind you that the work matters. And over here, we're, we've got the cash basis. Here's a pile of cash. And right down here, we've got two financial statements, one on the accrual basis, one on the cash basis. So we're going to see if there's any difference between these two. So let's work on the accrual basis first. So what matters on the accrual basis? When you do your work, when you complete your job. Now, um, this contract is for $50,000. And, and uh, when we get to construction, did their work in June. And they did $50,000 worth of work in June. Now, they didn't necessarily get paid in June, but they did their work in June. They earned the money. So in June, we're going to claim that as revenue because that's when they did their work. Now, when did they consume the resources? In June. On the accrual basis, that's what matters, when you consume your resources. So there we go. And so the net income is going to be $20,000. So if you notice, there's nothing happening in May, nothing happening in July, according to the accrual basis. Now let's come down to the cash basis, and taxes would be done more or less on this cash basis. All right, so revenue. When's revenue recognized on the cash basis? When you get the money. Well, in May, they got $5,000 worth of cash. So they're going to claim $5,000. And then the resources, uh, or when they paid for resources, they paid for $2,000 worth of resources. $2,000. There we go. All right, so they're 
profit, their net income is going to be 3,000. Now that's very different than the accrual basis. On the accrual basis, we didn't have anything. But cash basis, what matters is when cash comes in and cash goes out. All right, in June, let's see here. Well, $35,000 of cash came in in June and they spent $20,000 on resources right up here. And so their net income for June is going to be $15,000. Now in, Ju in uh, July, the revenue, uh, well, they got paid $10,000. There you go. And they paid $8,000 for um, the resources to do that job, labor and materials. And so in July, they had a $2,000 profit. The contract was the same either way. It was $50,000. Uh, you know, on the accrual basis, it all adds up to $50,000 for the contract. And if you add up five, 35, and 10, you get $50,000, all right? So it's, a, it's the same amount of money we're talking here, but it's just different ways of recognizing it. So you can see that the results here for the accrual basis are very different than the results for the cash basis. Now you might say, well, which one's better? Well, they both have their pluses and minuses. On uh, one hand, uh, the accrual basis gives us a better matching of the, uh, the uh, revenue coming in and the uh, resources consumed to, to create that revenue. So there's, there's a matching effect and there, there's a clear picture on whether or not we're getting, uh, making a profit. Now, according to generally accepted accounting principles, uh, financial statements uh, should be done on the accrual basis, all right? So we have to follow those rules, uh, and that, that's what you'll be spending the most of the time in your class on, is the accrual basis. So with the cash basis, it's got some pluses. Um, for one thing, we pay our bills with cash, right? So it's good to know how much cash is coming in, how much cash is going out. Also, uh, governments tend to be on a uh, cash basis, the IRS, uh, they require us, uh, the, a lot of their tax laws are, are based on a cash basis. So the cash basis uh, is good also. So I can't say, well, one's better than the other. They're just different. They're just different ways of looking at things. And oftentimes it's not bad to look at them from both uh, points of view. So if this uh, helped you out, let me know. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, folks, I've got a webpage, accountingsuperstars.com, and I've got all my videos. They're all listed out so you can find them. So if you're looking for a certain topic, uh, there's a better chance that you'll find the video that you're looking for. So if there are videos that you want to see and, and uh, things you want to learn about, let me know, and I'll, I'll uh, make a video. So until next time, over and down.